Whether it's a travel show like Bizarre Foods or a science show like Mythbusters, there's always this delicate balance where you're trying to educate, but at the same time, you're doing everything that you can to draw eyeballs. When it comes to Brave Wilderness, what is your response to the critics who just think that you're some macho idiot who should just get eaten by a Komodo dragon? What's your end game? I actually love it when we have articles that are written about us that are like, this guy's a maniac. Because we look at it, we're going, that's kind of funny because I'm really not a macho maniac kind of guy. And that does bring people in. But then once they find the channel and they find episodes with manatees and ocelots and conservation projects about little tiny glass frogs and leaf frogs in the Costa Rican rainforest, they're like, this stuff is actually really educational. 